One of the most common questions that I get asked is how to make some quick gold. So today we're gonna go over four or five ways to make an easy 20 to 30K more gold per week without barely even putting any time in, or for some of you, not really any extra time at all. The first method is one that I really enjoy because you can do this whenever you're sitting in a guardian raid lobby, legion raid lobby. This is something that you can utilize to make better use of your time. I do this with fishing. You can do it with any trade skill, but fishing is highly accessible from anywhere that you are and you just need a fishing rod with a couple of the proper stats. The first one that you really need is to have a rod that decreases the minigame difficulty. That's a big one because that plays a huge role in a lot of the fishing mats that you will get, as well as having a fish rod that gives you extra basic reward bonuses. Whenever you're just doing your regular fishing, you get more of those mats. You don't have to have legendary tools to do this. I did this with purple tools for the longest time. All you're gonna do to make these is number one, the first thing you're gonna have to do is go to the farm island and go to this guy named Jennif and buy the crafting recipe for the purple fishing rod and the gold fishing rod. Or if you wanna make the master ultimate relic fishing rod, then you can absolutely do that too. It just costs more each level you go up in rarity and the purple is the cheapest to make for sure and then you'll go over to your stronghold and go to the crafting workshop and go to tools and you can come over here buy these materials as you can see for expert buying this about 17 1800 gold you don't have to do that though guys you can just buy a purple one that's seven gold okay you can just buy that and buy the rest of these pay 95 gold and it's super quick and easy very cheap as well. But once you craft those fishing rods, you can go and fish and it'll look something like this. And one thing I did forget to mention is that you will need to have your trade skill for fishing up to level 30 because you need access to this skill, net fishing. And also, by the way, if you're wondering how to move those skills down to your toolbar, you literally just click and drag down to whatever key that you wanted on for these certain skills. You'll pull out your fishing rod that has the base reward bonus on it and you'll go fishing you just hit e it's extremely easy guys okay you don't have to think too hard about it or press many buttons and eventually you'll build up these stacks of off the hook so i just got one stack and you'll build up five stacks and then you can play the mini game at this point when you reach five stacks you can go ahead and get that other fishing rod or if you get both of those skills on one fishing rod you're good you don't ever have to switch but you're going to want to pull out the mini game fishing rod and then cast that net for me it's on p so i'm going to press that and this is gonna make the mini game so much easier. Like this is just crazy easy. But as you can see, this is where you get a lot of your materials from. And again, you can use this for any trade skills, but the whole point is that you'll spend about five or six minutes doing this. Again, you might just be sitting there in a Legion raid lobby, just waiting for it to fill up or a guardian raid or whatever, or you can just add this into your daily routine. It doesn't matter. You can throw this in wherever you like. And you will go back to the stronghold. And from here, we're gonna craft a Ray Haas. And typically after fishing for around five or six minutes, then you're gonna have enough to craft probably two to three. I usually have enough to craft three of these prime Ray Haas fusion material uh, bundles here. And what's gonna happen is after I make those three, and I'll just speed these up here real quick so you can see, I'll accept them great crafting fantastic it does take about 800 gold or so to craft them mind you but once we get them and we take these and we put them on the auction house and they're going for about 44 or 45 for the average so we'll put it 45 and we'll go 45 as well then we're going to get about 2000 so you're making around a thousand to 1200 or so gold from about five to six minutes worth of your fishing or whatever other trade skill that you're doing. You can also go and sell the red fish, guys. And this is what I do each time. So I'll take these red fish and I'll go and sell them and they're going for five. So I'll make another hundred gold real quick. Uh, so that just adds on to it. So you're making, you know, again, around a thousand to 1200 gold from this process. Now, one extra quick little tip is that I wanted to make sure that you're using these leap essences. And I just use maybe one every couple of days by doing this and I just keep having the, about the same amount because you get them from the event shop every week as well. So it 
pretty much evens out unless you're just doing a ton of fishing. The next way to make some really quick gold is chaos gates, guys. There are four of them per week and it only takes like five minutes to do. You get a lot of materials to sell. So why aren't you doing them? This makes me cry inside if you aren't getting these done, guys. It's so quick and you are gonna be getting at least two to 3,000 gold per chaos gate without even having the special room. Sell all of these solars that you get from the chaos gates and you can either hang on to the tradable shard bags or sell them right away. That's just fine as well. But that just means you're gonna make even more gold per time that you are doing it. And it only takes about five minutes, guys. Don't sleep on this. That's an extra 10, 12, 15K gold per week easy the next one i want to talk about are the una's task guys make sure you're getting 70 points each week if you're struggling to get there of course there's several reasons why you might be maybe it's just time constraints maybe you only run one character whatever it may be make sure you're getting your weeklies done that results in a huge amount of points and if you want a super super easy way to get more weekly una's tasks done so that you have to spend less time overall getting those 70 points then what you can do is if you have any alts that maybe you don't play it doesn't matter what their eye level is for example i can get all my 1310 destroyer over here then make sure you select the weekly guardian raid task and this will be so simple because you only need three guardian souls and since this is an alt that you don't play you can just boot up and earn ill go in use the battle items they give you flare kill him and then get the two souls and you'll of course have to do that one more time not obviously today because you can only do one guardian per day but you can go do that another time during the week and that's an easy easy 12 weekly unas task point but you'll get about 7,000 gold or more from turning all of these unas tokens in each week for gold and the last super simple way that you can make more gold each week is by handling the auctions at the end of your raids properly make sure you're not leaving as soon as the raid ends stay for the auction and either bid up those books the legendary books or these tethering books to make sure that everyone's getting the same amount of gold or stay there when everyone leaves and bid 50 gold and get a ton of gold easy peasy now i know it might not seem like much you making a hundred gold off of this or 200 gold off of that or whatever but if you do that in each one of your raids and spend an extra 60 seconds there to make sure that you're getting as much gold as possible from those items then you're going to be getting an extra few hundred gold on each character through their raids. And if you run a couple characters, then that's an easy few thousand gold. And I noticed this big time on my rosters, as on my main roster, I made over 10,000 gold from doing this on those raids. Because again, a lot of people just left. They just songed out. So I was able to get those books for very cheap and then make a lot of profit from them. So that's another super, super easy way that you can make a lot more gold through the week. And believe me, it adds up. Well, I hope you all enjoy this video and you got something out of these tips or tricks or methods or whatever you want to call them for maximizing some of your time in the game to earn more gold. Now, if you have any questions regarding these things, please go ahead and ask me down in the comments. Or if you know of a way to make some really, really quick gold, then throw that down in the comments as well. We're trying to help everyone out here, especially the newer and returning players or more casual players of the game. Again, guys, my how to make friends video is almost finished. I got another couple days on it, I think, um, and then it will be published and out. So make sure if you want to watch that video or if you just like lost our content in general, then subscribe to the channel. I'd love to see you around here more. Guys, that is everything for this one, and I will see you on the next one. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!